But what I'm saying is that in a world that is increasingly populist from a political point of view, where um, um, truth is often the casualty uh, in the pursuit of, of, of power and demagoguery is the order of the day, that I think what we need in Gibraltar is a vision that is anchored in truth and is a vision that is realistic. And in the context of Brexit, we really can't move away from the fact that we need to both do politics differently here in Gibraltar, but also uh, understand that we are facing challenges, that because the government has spent a huge amount of money, because it saddled us with huge amounts of debt, because that's created a, a, a culture of, of expectation and entitlement, or at the very least fuel that, that we are in danger seriously of killing the goose that laid the golden egg and that collectively all of us we need to be changing our attitudes and we need to be thinking about different ways in which uh, we not only do politics but also different ways in which we view the obligations of the individual towards the state and the state towards the individual because it's a collective change in attitude that I'm advocating. You mentioned populism and demagoguery is on the rise in the world but is this really true in Gibraltar? I think it's absolutely true in Gibraltar. Mr. Picardo is the most unashamed populist politician we have ever had. Every single interest group that in 2011 held the hand out to Mr. Picardo that said, I want, Mr. Picardo has been there to give. He has spent £750 million in capital projects alone in four years. That's more than we spent in 16 years uh, that we were in government. So in simple terms, absolutely yes. You cite Brexit as an opportunity to change the way that we do politics here, but how can this be when it's largely presenting challenges at the moment? Well, because we've got to make use of those challenges. Those challenges have got to cause us to take a step back and to take stock and to, to think about the situation that Gibraltar's in. Look, I've often said Gibraltar is blessed. We have things in Gibraltar that many communities would be envious of but we are seriously in danger of jeopardizing that if we continue the way that we're going, which is spend, 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 debt, more debt, and more debt. And what Mr. Picardo is now saying is, don't worry, I'm going to meet every single manifesto commitment that I have. At the last election, he's going to meet that. Well, if he's going to meet that, that's going to cost hundreds of millions of pounds. Do you really think that it's appropriate for a government facing a challenge as we face as a community in Brexit to just simply con ignore Brexit as if Brexit were a figment of our, our imagination? Well, I don't think so. I'm sorry. What are you hoping will come from this meeting going forward? Well, I hope that people will be infused by the message. I mean, it's a realistic message. It's an honest message. It's a message designed for people to think about where Gibraltar is, what is their place within society, what types of obligations people also have to the state. It's not only about the obligations the state has to people. And I hope that uh, people will understand that the GSD is trying to be realistic, that it's trying to be honest, and it's trying to present a programme, because I'm also dealing about uh, debt reduction and priorities in spending and stuff like that, that the GSD is trying to focus on a program that is realistic and a program that is affordable and a program that will see Gibraltar through what are undoubtedly going to be difficult times.